Obviously, I'm rooting for Batman, so that's why we're throwing the kryptonite in the Superman. And f*** him up. So this is the Superman bomb. I've got Mel McClure in a skull shot glass. The actual Superman drink itself, grenadine, Mike's Hard Lemonade, and Blue Carousel mixed with vodka. Bottoms up. Why don't you want to come up? Oh, well, there you are. There. Can you see him? Can you say hi, Wicket? I know your, your, your tail is wagging really hardcore. So, for those of you that don't know, I, uh, yeah, you can wash my, or, yeah, you can lick my hands right now. There's no alcohol in there, buddy. For those of you that don't know, I adopted a dog. This is Wicket. He is a labradoodle. He is the absolute best. Um, he is a huge cuddle buddy now. He still gets into mischief, don't you, buddy? Yeah. But he is going to be turning um, one year old. One. <laughs> He'll be turning one year old on May 4th, and if you can correlate his name with that, oh, yeah? If you can correlate his name with that holiday, or that date, then kudos to you. There was a reason why I named him and gave him that birthday. Um, his previous owners actually didn't know his birthday. Um, which is a surprise to me, but you know, I don't know how the f can actually buy a dog and not know his birthday. But I was lucky enough to adopt you. Right, Wicked? Mm hmm. What do you want? Hey, Wicked? Who, who do you want to win? Do you want Batman or do you want Superman? Alright, wait, 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 wait. So, if you want Superman, like my right hand, if you want Batman, wait, <laughs> if you want Batman, like my right hand, or left hand. Oh, okay, so Wicket's a Batman supporter. So there you have it. Thank you, Wicket. All right, all right. Y'all done that? I'm gonna wash my hands. He also likes to help me. He likes to watch, don't you? You watch for all the food scraps come on the floor. All right, buddy. Down you go. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, this is the Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice Special Edition. Uh, the movie obviously comes out this Friday, and uh, I decided to make this special edition recipe just for you. Um, we're making a Superman ice cream. You don't need a ice cream maker. I was this close to buying one. And it's probably something that I'm going to be getting in the future. But, um, you know, this show is all about being able to do stuff that's straight out of your kitchen and not needing much for, other than the beer and the alcohol and, well, I guess, I guess you... So all the costs get eaten up by the beer and the alcohol, and that's why you don't have any money to spend on really cool, hot kitchen items like an ice cream maker. Uh, we're going to get started with the um, ice cream. Now we have three different flavors for Superman. Um, we have fat, Fathead's uh, Bumbleberry, uh, Bumble, yeah, it's a Bumbleberry Ale, which is a blueberry ale. That'll be for the blue section. Uh, we have Frambois, which is a, a Belgian raspberry ale, uh, beer. Um, this will be for the red portions of the ice cream. And then we have a Guinness, which I'm going to add some food going to. Um, this is going to be for the, um, comes yellow, 
is the theoretical color. I know, Superman, like, is red, white, and blue, I thought, right? Or is he yellow? I guess there's yellow, like, in his thing, in his emblem. God damn it, now I have to Google it. You'll need a mixing bowl for this. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mix up some heavy whipping cream. In the U.S., we can only find 40%. Um, I believe over in the U.K., you can find up to like 50%. Not sure about the exact numbers, but basically, for whatever reason, their whipping cream is heavier. So it's 16 fluid ounces of the whipping cream. I got that in. I need to get my condensed milk in. Um, I think you should probably chill this shit, but it shows you how much I know. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add the framboise. So I guess in true uh, fashion, a credit to my horrific art skills, the red has turned out to be pink for the Superman ice cream. Yay, me. So like the other flavor, the blue, I'm just going to be... Adding that entire mixture. Into my container. I'm gonna wash all this shit off. I mean, you can see it, it's pink. It's fucking pink. That's like, Superman didn't know how to wash his clothes and threw all of his laundry together and that's the underwear he came out with. Speaking of which, that's the other reason why I side with Batman. If Superman can't close the f deal with Lois Lane, then why would I root for Superman? Like, what sense does that make? Although this new movie is supposed to have uh, Wonder Woman in it, which is pretty f***ing ironic. Although, wait, I'm pretty sure Wonder Woman ends up with Batman. Like, they become lovers, I think. Which, props to Batman, another reason why I represent Batman. So, the brownies, we're gonna be making from scratch. So, uh, let's get the ingredients out. This, this fucking thing has no expiration date on it. How the hell can you sell brown sugar, Domino, and not put a fucking expiration date on it? Unless, unless it's this 1239-62 date, in which case we're all f***ed because we don't go by that calendar system. And two, it's way past 62. Alright, so... Uh, it's been so long since I cooked. Baked, rather. Shit. I can, I can usually substitute the, I don't have cream cheese, pretty sure I don't have cream cheese, god damn it, no cream cheese, alright, so, let's go back to the Googles, <sighs> that wicket, you are such a good helper, I know buddy, alright, Alright, I kind of feel like doing another shot, slash whatever the f 
Did. You guys are f***ing spoiled on this episode. I've never given out this recipe before. Whenever I make my German chocolate tanks, I always make a double batch. I can tell right away that this is this is not going to be a brownie. Brownies are not my are not my strong point. However, these German tanks I've been making, which I make with a any kind of chocolate cake mix. So any type of cake mix, um, German chocolate, devil's food cake chocolate, um, double chocolate. I don't give a shit. Any of that shit. We're gonna we're gonna mix it in. We're gonna make it for. These are my German tanks now. So you're getting like a premier recipe right now on my German tanks. Typically my German tanks have raisins in it. I'm forewarning you, I'm probably not going to put raisins in this. And you're going to want to have, uh, see I normally put three eggs in for that recipe. Put one egg in, a whole beer. We're going to put three eggs in. Wash your hands after. You're going to want a whole package of, um, this is a whole 12 ounce or 340 grams package of chocolate chips, semi-sweet. Um, you're going to want some oats. Typically, I measure the oats out. You're going to want a half of a cup of oats for every Thank you, oven. You want half a cup of oats for every box that you put in of cake mix. So obviously I'm going to be putting in a full cup. Oh shit. If it wasn't for the fact that the brownies totally got f***ed up, I would not be giving out this recipe right now. Seriously, like the my German tanks alone are well worth it. That's a whole bag of chocolate chips. Obviously, do not let Wicket eat them. Bad Wicket. You want to just mix everything together. You're such a good boy, but you can't have this. Alright, that is definitely good. So what's going to happen here is, you're going to want to grease down, or I happen to have baking sheets because I used to do a lot. I have, uh, I have what's called baking parchment paper. Compliments to my mother. I love you, Mom. Um, compliments to my mother, I have par parchment paper, which is absolutely fantastic for baking, for cooking, steaming in general. Um, we need to go ahead and line our pans. Um, this, I made a double batch for, on purpose, because I'm planning at this point, I'm taking this shit in to work with me tomorrow. Um, so you need to get as many and baking sheets as you, as you have. The double batch is definitely going to take at least three, four, no it's going to take four, probably on the neighborhood of five depending on how big I make these cookies. So there's that. But anyway, so three baking sheets land with, er, laden with parchment paper. Um, this makes it real simple. So you've got your oven at 350. Uh, you've got your baking sheets laid out. With the baking sheets, you don't have to worry about greasing shit up. Um, go ahead and get a spoon out. Um, 
Yeah, I've got my teaspoon. I'm gonna take a chunk out. I'm just gonna lay it. It's gonna be a glob. But we're gonna glob it on. So. Alright, so we're gonna put these cookies in. Uh, keep in mind that the cookies themselves, we're gonna bake on smell. So you want to bake them, for, put the timer on 9 minutes. Uh, there's cake mix in there, so you can use the toothpicks, the toothpick recipe, which I'll explain. Um, use the toothpick and then go from there. Um, if you pull them out and they don't look done yet, um, like if you put the toothpick through them and you pull out cake mix still, leave them go for another minute. Really simple, but nine minutes is what I'm suggesting. And then we'll get our next batch ready. <laughs> yeah, you're done? Okay. Thank you. See what I'm telling you? Fucking dog knows everything. Don't you? <laughs> yeah, you do. Hey. Is the oven done? Should I pull the cookies out? No? No response. So I shouldn't pull them out. Thank you. So those are your three flavors. Red framboise, the blue is the blueberry beer, and the yellow was the Guinness. Um, mixed with your Batman chocolate cookie. Which, as a chocolate stout, this is really good. This is not... It doesn't hold the chewy factor that my German tanks do. But then again, it's only missing one ingredient. That's really fucking good. It's really good. I would, holy shit, that is really fucking good. I would definitely rock it. Oh. Holy shit, that cookie's good. Just in terms of chocolatiness, that cookie just upset my German chocolate tank. And that is a Batman chocolate cookie mix. Holy shit, that is good. And this is the uh, Superman ice cream, everything mixed together. While it doesn't taste like Superman ice cream, if you're drunk enough, this tastes really good. You got, you got three good flavors before I even mix in the cookie. You got four good flavors coming in the fucking dessert special. Holy crap! So. I'm JP on JP's Batch of Kitchen. Um, please like, share, comment, let me know what you think of the, the cookie. Let me know what you think of the ice cream. Let me know what you think of the, the, the bomb. Um, if you think Superman will win, Batman will win. Let me know, because, oh, I don't know what to think after this. And yes, I'm wearing a Batman shirt. Do Am I a DC Comics?
comics. Yeah. Am I a DC comic book fan? No. Um, I never got into comic books really as a whole. I've tried several times um, to get into comic books. I never really caught on to any of them. Um, the reason why I'm wearing a Batman shirt is because I can identify with Batman the most. Uh, I mean, it's Bruce Wayne. First of all, he's a womanizer to an extent. Um, you know, he can pretty much walk into any um, event and be holding the arm of some amazing looking woman and never had to have to bat an eye. I'm sure he's got thousands of women on speed dial, and uh, so there's that. Um, there's also the fact that, you know, he is the one person that, um, if I was to ever get rich, I could have all these f***ing amazing, you know, gadgets and shit. Plus, okay, f***ing Alfred, I would love to have Alfred as just my butler, like, he wouldn't have to do anything. In fact, I would almost prefer him not to do anything because if, so if I ever had maids here, I wouldn't know where shit is. Um, so, you know, to my future wife, don't worry about cleaning the house too much, um, because, well, I won't know where things are, and that, that might be bad. I have a hard enough time knowing where things are, and I clean my own house, let alone letting someone else clean the house, and then I would have no clue. Butler is there to open my car door for me. Maybe open the garage door, help me in the groceries, get the, all the beer and shit in, um, bring alcohol to me. Maybe be my DD. Alfred would be a great DD, I think. I can, well, unless the Batmobile's got, you know, its own automatic driving, which I guess it does. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, I don't know enough about the heroes enough to choose one side of the, over the other. Um, there's just been a lot more Batman movies that I can remember growing up with as a kid. Well, theoretically growing up with, I wasn't allowed to watch a lot of the Batman movies from the 90s when they came out, but... Uh, yeah, I did. Um, the Superman movies, I distinctly remember, I think it was 2? Like, Superman 2, when he's on his home planet. Again, like, those movies, like, I was allowed to watch them with my parents, but then I think I just always fell asleep whenever we started watching them. So I never, I never grew up with liking either one. But anyway, so I found this shirt at, uh, at the Kohl's, and it's awesome. Like, they, they're making active wear, which is what shirt I prefer to wear. I don't like cotton, because cotton always shrinks on me, and when you're a tall guy, like, Length matters. Uh, I'd like to know when the hell, you know, t-shirt companies are going to wake up and realize that, like, a lot of guys are getting to be taller and that we're not all big, too. Like, we're skinnier-ish. Um, so length matters. So the active wear, the reason why I like it is because it never shrinks on me. Um, so this is an active wear, like, shirt. It's, it feels... Great. So if you need a shirt, like check out Kohl's. These are on sale this week for like 14 bucks, which is actually absolutely unheard of. Oh. <laughs> Fucking headache. Oh. God damn, that's so good. So, holy shit. I am feeling good. Now go do that voodoo that you do so well.